<laughs> Who wants to start us off? Okay. Well, Edge, it's because of homecoming. Uh, maybe the result on penalty is not good. What is better? How do you start the night? Uh, yeah, I thought it was, it was okay. I thought first half I thought it was really good. I thought it was a decent game. Um, I thought we played really well actually, and it was important because um, you know, as I said to the lads before the game, it's eighty thousand people here, and uh, it wasn't that long ago I was on the other side of the fence, and you know I used to get hugely disappointed if I thought overseas clubs would come here and sort of just go through the motions. And um, yeah, I thought, like I said, I thought first half it was a decent game. Both teams were at it. I thought we played really well. Second half, obviously, we both made changes. Some young boys got experience, and the game sort of tailed off, um, which is you know, kind of expected. And um, you know, considering the boys literally 48 hours ago were playing in the you know, other side of the world, and uh, yeah, and we lost the surprise penalty shootout. So uh, yeah, uh, disappointed. If it does get in the bot, can you expect the shootout? Uh, uh, maybe I, I I didn't. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, that's okay. I think gave gave the punters um, a little bit of extra excitement at the end there, so nothing wrong with that. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get out uh, on top. Jerry? And I guess for you and the boys, what does the next 24 hours look like? Yeah. You're staying for a few days. Are you playing tonight? Yeah, boys are on a straight on a plane tonight, uh, Joey. So, um, you know, look, again, I thought it was, you know, enormous effort from them when you consider you know, the the travel we needed to do to get here and obviously straight after a, you know a pretty important Premier League game for us uh, you know to play tonight and they, they're going back um, yeah a lot of them have got maybe a few days off before Euros or Copa America and, and the rest will, will, will get their break so um, so yeah the boys will be straight out tonight. What sort of break do you get before you're straight back most of the grindstone Transfer silly season. I got the bus ride back to the hotel, and that'll be it, mate. And then uh, we get going. And, uh, it never really stops. So the reality of it is, but I'll have some time off. I'll, uh, I'll uh, uh, meet up with the family on the weekend, and uh, you know we'll go to, we'll go to Greece and switch off for for a couple of weeks. Uh, but you know, never stops. We've plenty to do. Uh, but there's a lot of people who are working, doing the bulk of it. Uh, I'm just kind of there to hopefully provide some direction. Chris take you, you know, Chris. Yeah, he doesn't take anyone out to dinner later. I'm going to have to pay if I go, mate. I guess, how free is it for you uh, this amazing 12 months in your life to cover off here in your, in your home city? How special is that for you, Tom? Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, it's, um, I guess, the last sort of few years have kind of, you know, uh, moved along pretty, seems like pretty rapidly to, to where I am today. Um but yeah, it was nice uh, tonight because, um, like I said, it wasn't that long ago. But, you know, any, you know, in an alternate universe, I would have been on the other side of the fence watching the game because that was my kind of existence for a very long time. So, um, you know, to be, to be sort of uh, in charge of one of the biggest clubs in the world, and <clears throat> to bring them back to my hometown and and kind of in front of eighty thousand there, yeah, it's it, it's pretty special. And uh, yeah, I, I feel pretty uh, pretty blessed to, to be in the position. And you mentioned you were happy with the first half was pretty good. What were you happy with? What stood out? And had, after you've seen the loads come back and forth after such a close end of the season, man, what's your thoughts on it? Friendly this close to? Yeah, as I said, I thought first half, um, yeah, we, we, we worked really hard. Our pressing was really good, which it has been all year. But our, our football was good too. We, you know, we had some really good passages where, you know, we, we got through Newcastle and, and created some good opportunities for ourselves. And I, I just f felt the lads were, were really, really disciplined. Um, and you know, really tried to to the best of their ability to to play our kind of football rather than just sort of just play a game uh, with no real purpose. So, you know, a lot of the stuff I saw in the first half is stuff that we've been doing all year, which was really important. Um, and look, the game being so close is not ideal, but you know, as I said before, you you know, we made a commitment to come out here, and once you make a commitment, then you've got to follow it through and make sure you treat it um, in the right manner. And you know, we're representing, like I said, one of the biggest you know, football clubs in the world, and. You know, you make a positive impression tonight and, you know, our fan base grows even further, which is important. Um, so I think, yeah, you know, I thought the players handled it really well, really proud of them. And, uh, but they deserve a break now and that's what they'll get. Ali. Uh, last, last summer, you and the club made a real drive to get some players in before pre-season started, which isn't something that's always happened with Spurs. Is that going to be the case again? Mm. So CJ, you said, how much time am I going to get off? So yeah, see what I've got to deal with, mate, the next session. So I've got to get players in early tomorrow. I've got, they've got to be here. Um, yeah, look, I, it is. I mean, I think it, it works better. Ali, I think last year it certainly benefited us having, you know, a couple of players in early and having the whole squad. Um, 
again, looking at the schedule this year with, with guys at international commitments, we're not going to get them all back at the start of pre-season. So um, if we can get ones in early, but it's easier said than done. Uh, <coughs> everyone wants to do business early. Everyone you know, is keen to, to bring players in, but the reality of it is it usually you know, takes a little bit of time. But the good thing for us, we know what we need to do. Uh, we've had the plan in place for quite a while and it's just about now going through that process. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's no secret. I mean, you, you saw the way we sort of finished the season. I mean, we had, we obviously lost um, Richie and, and, and Timo as well with injuries, but, you know, we, we were fairly light on in that area. And, um, you know, we started last season with, you know, we had Manor and, and Perisic and, you know, we were, we were quite healthy in that front third in terms of numbers. But as the year went on, it, it Came pretty evident we need to, to to sort of bulk up. We're obviously in Europe next year as well, so there'll be more games. So um, that's definitely an area of the park we'll need to strengthen. Uh, yeah, uh, I think from our perspective, there's a there's a deadline there. But you know, again, a lot of that will depend on the sort of negotiations between the clubs and and how Timo feels. And, and you know, so again, from my perspective, um, I'm comfortable with that situation. I'll let the other guys sort of steer it to see uh, what sort of outcome there is. Okay, we've got time for two more, so at the back and then Joey Priest. You, you touched on yesterday that uh, it's kind of hard for you to see the, the influence and impact you've had back here that your success has had. When you when you come here and you see 80,000, obviously because of two massive clubs anyway, but when you see 80,000 in your hometown, do you, do you give yourself a, a second to sort of reflect on what that means? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think the majority were here to see the clubs, not me, although the amount of friends I've seemed to have got in the last couple of days, maybe there was uh, a few more thousand than I thought there was. But um, yeah, look, it's great. I've always had, you know, sort of the last couple of years, I was in Perth with um, obviously Spurs last year as a Celtic the year before. And um, I've, I've got a great reception. It's certainly, um, it's not lost on me. And, you know, I, I understand that, you know, I, I represent the country in many respects with uh, with what I do abroad and, and people are following that journey. So, um so yeah, so look, as I said, I, I don't, I don't dwell on it too much, and obviously I'm on the other side of the world, but I'm aware of the impact it has because, as I keep saying, that was my experience when, when other people were kind of um, in my position, uh, players or, or other people involved in football or any sport. You know, I, I lived that journey from here, and I understand that people are sort of doing the same similar thing with my journey. Shall we finish the slide, please? And just maybe follow up on Ali's line of questioning. South season players move on inevitably, but you anticipate you were able to keep everyone you want to keep during the off season. Yeah, look, there's no indication we shouldn't. But again, all those things are kind of moving parts. You 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 always um, understand that things can change very quickly. But as I said, we've got a plan in place that that I'm really comfortable with in terms of you know incomings, outgoings. Um, whether that all comes together, you know, you, you just never know. But, um, you know, again, having clarity about what we do need to do, um, I think helps the process. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>